When Calls the Heart, Season 10, Episode 4, Great Expectations. The show opens up showing a steady stream of tourists coming to Hope Valley to visit Hope Springs. Rosemary and Lee were at Faith's office to check to see if the baby was okay because she's overdue and the baby isn't moving as much. And Faith said that's normal. She said that they're less active at the end of the pregnancy. But Rosemary and Lee, they don't believe that. They think that it may be something wrong. Uh, Lee said he made a brisket the other day and he made, it, it was too spicy. And that may be the reason. And Rosemary agreed that the brisket was too spicy. But Faith said that the baby is fine. She said that worrying doesn't help. And Rosemary and Lee said, worry? We're not worried. Do we seem worried to you? Faith said the best thing she could do is drink liquids, stay active, and walk around. There's a suspicious young man standing around town. Bill came up and he said, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I thought he was talking to the young man, but he was talking to, to the guys that were playing basketball. And while Bill was saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, the guy started walking onto the porch. I'm thinking that young man could be the guy that held Faith up while she was on her route. While Rosemary and Lee were walking to get exercise for the baby, they saw Elizabeth and Lucas and they stopped by to talk to them. Rosemary said, Elizabeth, I'm counting on you because Lee has a very delicate constitution. And Elizabeth said, I'll be here when you need me. And when Rosemary and Lee walked away, little Jack asked his mother, what did Rosemary and Uncle Lee mean? And Elizabeth said, remember when I told you that they're having a baby, soon there'll be a mommy and a daddy? And little Jack said, a mommy and a daddy and elizabeth shook her head up and down and said mm -hmm. the suspicious lady who at the end of last week's show said this is the only way this can be done these are such nice people well she's sitting at bill's table again he said <clears throat> she said i know i know it's your booth Will you join me? And he said, join me, join you in my booth. I really do need to talk to management around here. She giggled and said, you can always get a little sign made that says reserved. Bill said, not a bad idea. She says her son likes it so much in Hope Valley that she's thinking about moving there. Nathan is throwing peanuts and Scout is jumping up to catch him in his mouth. Faith walked past and said, looks like somebody's getting used to you. Nathan said, I wouldn't be too impressed. She said, I was talking to Scout. She said, listen, I've been wanting to thank you for coming after me and for chasing the squirrel and the bandit. I can be stubborn at times, Nathan said. No, you stubborn? Faith said, well, I hope you'll consider tagging along next time. Nathan said, well, if it's all right with him, I guess it's all right with me. And just as he finished saying that, the young suspicious guy came walking out of the store. Scout started barking at him and he tried to go back up the stairs and he tripped. Faith turned around and Nathan started apologizing saying i'm sorry he's a work in progress and the guy said that's okay i love dogs faith saw his hand and it was bleeding and she said uh come on over to the office and i'll check it out he said okay and as they were walking away nathan looked at scout and then looked back at them walking away with a suspicious look 
Yeah. Scout gave it away. That's the guy. Because, you know, dogs have this keen sense of smell. And he remembers the scent of this the band. Faith was working on the kid's hand. And she said she was out of gauze and she was going to go get some. And she told him to wait there. As soon as she closed the door, he found the window and snuck out of it. He jumped down, and, and when he turned around, Nathan and Scout was le leaning against the wall. Nathan said, I knew something wasn't right. Well, at least the dog did. As Nathan was escorting the, the young man across the street to the jail, Faith came along, and she said, what's going on, Nathan? And Nathan said, he's a thief. He stole this lard from the merchantile. Then a uh, scout kind of barked. It didn't seem like a whole bark, but it was a. It got Nathan's attention. So Nathan bent down and took the scarf off Scout and put it uh, under over the young guy's nose. And Nathan said, "Do you recognize him?" And then uh, Faith said, "It's you." And he said. I'm sorry. And Nathan walked him on. Little Jack said, Mommy? Elizabeth said, Yes, honey bear? If uncle is going to be a daddy, when can I see my daddy? She said, Oh, honey, don't you remember what we talked about? Your daddy is in heaven. But where is heaven? Well, heaven is up above us. And I know that may seem far away. But your daddy is also in our hearts. Then they got up and went inside their house. I know he doesn't understand what she said. Because I barely understand it just listening to it. Well, if I was his age anyway. Elizabeth brought a mountie hat from, down, from upstairs. And she told little Jack... Uh, she showed it to little Jack and little Jack said a Mountie hat and she said this is your daddy's uh, hat and he said can I wear it if I'm careful and she said you can wear it anytime you want and he put it on and he said she put it on his head and he said how do I look and she said you look just like your daddy Lee and Rosemary were still walking around the town and talking and all of a sudden she got a, a pain and she went to her knees. Lee said, is this it? She said, I don't know. She said, I'm quite certain. Then she said, yes, yes, this is, is, this is it. Where is faith? Lee said, I don't know. She said, where is faith? And he had this look on his face like he was scared of her. <laughs> she said, get faith. And she, he said, okay, okay. Lee looked around and he saw Florence. And he said, Florence, the baby is coming. And she took off running to find faith. Rosemary was in a lot of pain as they were helping her to the car. While they were helping her to the car, a crowd was forming in front of the car and Mr. Yost was trying to tell them nicely to move out the way and uh, then Nathan said let's clear a path people <laughs> and and Mr. Yost pointed to Nathan like <laughs> what he said right before they took off in the car Lee said this is really happening Lucas said congratulations dad Minnie and Molly went to the diner and to tell May that the baby is on its way. And they said they were, Minnie said they're going to need a lot of food. So the thing that they can do to help is to cook. May said, what are we going to do? Molly said, hope, pray. And Minnie said, and cook. Grab the vegetables and start chopping. Nathan brought his prisoner some lunch. And while he, when he opened the door, Scout rushed in and jumped on the bed next to the, the young guy. He apologized again. He said, sorry for causing so much trouble. Nathan said, 
causing trouble. That's what you call accosting a young, helpless woman on the road. And the guy said, Dr. Faith doesn't seem all that helpless. Nathan said, well, yeah, you're right. I'll give you that, yeah. Nathan said, what does your family do? That's farming country, isn't it? And he said, uh, it was bad crop did us in. Nathan said, bad year? He said, once in a century bad. Nathan said, why don't I get you another plate? He said, thank you. Nathan came back to the jail and said, come with me. He said, where are we going? He said, just, just follow me. And they went to the Yolks store and he told the young guy to uh, apologize for stealing. And um, Mr. and Mrs. Yolks were standing at the top of the stairs looking hard, you know, like no nonsense. And they said, I'm sorry I stole stuff from your store. Well, it just, it may just be a couple of cans of lard to you, but it adds up. Mrs. Yo said, the constable said, your, your family is having a hard time. He said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, if you pay for what you've taken, we'll let it go. He said, well, I would like to, but we don't have any money. Then Mr. Yo said, which is why Mrs. Yost and I have decided that you can work in the store until you've reimbursed us. Nathan said, we believe in second chances around here. He said, thanks, Mr. Yost, Mrs. Yost. Nathan said, don't push your luck. He said, no, sir. He walked into the store. Mr. and Mrs. Yost looked at Nathan, and then they put on their hard exterior again and followed him into the store. Rosemary has been going through 11 or 12 hours of labor and she's getting upset and Faith said her high, her blood pressure is getting high if she doesn't calm herself down she's going to get sick Rosemary said I can't do this anymore I can't Elizabeth said you can you can I just need you to keep breathing and try to stay calm Elizabeth looked at Faith and said I think we need to get Lee he could calm her down. Rosemary grabbed Elizabeth's arm and said, Elizabeth, I need Lee. Elizabeth shook her, shook her head up and down. And then Rosemary yelled out in pain again, holding her stomach. Faith said, go get him. Elizabeth jumped up to go next door to get Lee. Lee was pacing and Lucas came from downstairs saying that little Jack was out like a light. Elise said, it's been 11 hours. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going over there. Lucas said, Lee. And as Lucas was calling Lee's name, the door opened and it was Elizabeth. She told Lee, she wants you. And he ran out the door. He opened the door to where Rosemary was and said, sweetheart. And she said, Lee. Please don't go. He kissed her hand and said, I'm not going to go. I promise you, I'm going to stay right here. Now breathe. Rosemary seemed to calm down. Elizabeth and Faith looked at each other and smiled. And then Elizabeth went outside to where Lucas was sitting. Lucas brought a candle, the candle that many gave them last week for them to light when Rosemary was in labor. Lucas said, I thought it was time to light this. And then when he lit the candle, he said, and I thought it was, it was time to let everyone know. And as he was saying that they were walking up, it peaked the, the town was walking up and they all had lit candles. Minnie and Joseph stood beside Elizabeth and Lucas and Elizabeth told Minnie, I hope that she can feel the love. And Minnie said, I'm sure she can. Faith came out the door and she looked around at all of the lights. Then she hesitated and said, it's a girl. Everyone was relieved and laughing. Faith said, Elizabeth, they would like to see you. 
Elizabeth knocked on the open door and said, Hi, you two. I mean, three. Lee said, Elizabeth, come meet your goddaughter. Elizabeth said, Oh, hello, sweetheart. You're just the most beautiful little girl I've ever seen. What's her name? Lee said, We haven't really ex decided on a first name yet, but her middle name is Elizabeth. Rosemary said, We've waited so long for this moment. We've all we had almost given up. Lee said, Yeah, she's our little miracle.